Greetings. The following is an update on the 2019 Sri Lanka attacks The United States has charged three Sri Lankan nationals over their roles in the 2019 ISIS Easter attacks. The men are accused of recruiting for ISIS, killing a police officer and helping to make bombs that were used to carry out the attacks. The U.S. Justice Department has charged three Sri Lankans with supporting terrorism for their participation in the ISIS-claimed Easter attacks on churches and hotels in 2019 that killed 268 people. The department said the three were part of the ISIS in Sri Lanka group behind the attacks on three churches and three luxury hotels in three cities on the Christian holiday on April 21, 2019. Five Americans were among the dead. ISIS claimed responsibility and called the well-planned attacks a retaliation for Western coalition actions against the group in Syria. The three charged are Mohammed Nafar, the self-proclaimed second emir and a recruiter and trainer for ISIS in Sri Lanka. Mohammed Anwar, who allegedly helped manufacture the bombs used in the attacks. Anahim Mohammed, who killed a police officer in the attack, the Justice Department said. All three are in custody in Sri Lanka, and the department said that it would support their prosecution in that country while maintaining the U.S. charges in the event they should gain their freedom. This case clearly demonstrates that the United States will take decisive action to ensure terrorists face justice when they target Americans anywhere in the world, said Nick Hanna, the U.S. federal prosecutor in Los Angeles, where the case was filed. The United States remains confident in the Sri Lankan authorities' ability to bring the perpetrators to justice and this complaint makes clear that we stand ready with these charges in the event the defendants attempt to evade justice, he said in a statement. The three were charged with providing material support to a designated foreign terrorist organization and Nafar and Ahim were charged with helping in military-type training for the Islamic State. Thank you for watching.